Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series. So last episode, we had the unfortunate event of a brand new companion instantly dying, but as, as luck has it, uh, the best possible companion for me to recruit was again right under my nose in Sarga. So here we go. We have recruited Yanshui. Obviously there's a bit of a different gender here, but Yanshui here is leadership, athletics, tactics, riding, uh, one-handed, no bow skills, but pretty much everything else. Uh, so that's awesome. There's a few other heroes in the roster when I went through the entire roster that were pretty good as well. It's a pretty long roster. Well, that wasn't the roster, but it's a pretty long roster. But, uh, but with that said, uh, that's all I did off camera, just like I did with the original recruiting of Yanshui. But this time, the mod that I used to rename uh, people, well, it's been updated, so I can use it on the fly, which is really, really nice. Um, that way, you know, you all, I can replace people as needed or whatever. Oh, I guess he already had an Imperial on Cape. Interesting. Okay. I'm just going through the armor that I currently have on me. So I have this uh, full helm over Armin Coif that he can inherit. Uh, this Western Chainmail is actually not too bad. These rusty gauntlets are fine, better than what he had. Oh, here's Cavalier Boots. So I actually did save a pair of Cavalier Boots. Um, what else? Is there anything else that is an improvement? He obviously needs a horse and a saddle. And weapons. But no, I think all the armor is good. Now, in terms of a horse and saddle and shield and all that jazz, I'm probably going to have to buy that. He looks pretty funny to me. Alright, so there's some crummy saddles, but I want him to have something nice. Okay, that's the nicest one. Oh! Okay. Oh, you know, I guess you can't really put a, uh, a saddle on a horse that doesn't exist. And that's what the game was trying to tell me. Uh, you can take an Azurai horse with a saddle. All right, your weapon is a really crummy army sword, arming sword, so I'll have to buy you something, I guess. There, that's a fancy sword. And as far as shields go, I do want to slowly move over to the knight's kite shield. So I'm going to start buying up knight kite shields and uh, instead of the previous ones that we had. Uh, it does not look like I'm going to have the right arrows, so I'm just going to go with the light bodkins in lieu of the proper ones. And then he basically has no bow skill, so he's going to have to have a crummy bow. But uh, a fair bit geared up more than our previous companion, the other Yanchui that shall be not named anymore. Done. I have about 50 days of food, so that's pretty good. And a little reminder about the geopolitics. Uh, we have a war declared on, well, everybody. We have one on Valandia, one on Batania, one on Azurai. Um, I'm not really worrying about anything but Valandia, because Valandia is the land I want. Because last episode, I also basically gave away all of my fiefs, all of my land, uh, so that I might be able to claim Valandian land for myself. So if I go to the Kingdom tab here, and I sort by clans of who owns what. Like, Tynops owns five. I'm down here with owning one. And then Abiletos, I guess whatever he owned was taken from him. So he owns one as well. But I'll be able to definitely claim for myself. So my hope is that I get Galland and Jacqueline. And as I get Jacqueline, I'll probably gift out Orticia, which is my other owned town, to Abiletos. So that I, you know, he owns still more than I do. Or we're, at the very least, tied. Now, the other thing is, um, for us to... Oh, hello, Cervic. Yeah, I see you. You seem to be riding straight at me. That's not a very healthy idea for you. Hello, hello. Surrender or die. Now, I do believe that Cervic was one of the ones I let go in previous battles, and now here they are. 
messing with me Everyone yet again. I'm not fully healed up from the last battle. Uh, is this one with a river or bridge? It does. Oh yes, it it does Move seem in. to be. So there's a bit of a bug where, um, oh no, they snapped eventually. Okay, uh, my cavalry, I'm going to protect my flanks. Oh my god, if they could stay out of my way. Okay, so I have everyone lined up. Now I just have to keep an eye out for cavalry that are trying to pass. I guess they're just coming straight up the middle. You know, that's like an extraordinarily bad idea. Just to point that out. Here comes all of my infantry. They're a little slow because I put them in shield formation a little early. And as they are in shield formation, they do move, move slower, if I recall correctly. Ooh, he blocked that. Ow. Okay, well, now you're gonna... Little Gallant, you're definitely gonna die. Uh, this is personal. Bye-bye. Oh, there's another one. Horse is down. Uh-uh. Don't hit my horse. Okay, as far as I can tell, they don't really have anyone on our side of the bridge, because I've locked it down. Ha ha ha, that was a good swing. I do see one horse trying to sneak by. Oh, here's another. Whoa, I deliver- oh, to the horse, yeah. I saw you. I think he's all clever trying to get behind lines. Yeah, not really. Means that you've singled yourself out. And I'll take you down. Where'd that? Oh, there it is. You do realize I'm on horseback. You can't really catch me, right? Okay. Well, I mean, I tried to inform him of the error of his ways, but... He seemed to be deaf to it. I do find it funny that some of their um, crossbowmen are, like, charging me. They're definitely not using the um, bridge exclusively anymore. They've adapted. Or more like, they've just... Whoa! Jeez, I almost got couched there. Well, that's enough of that. Oops, that's a friendly... I'm telling everyone to charge at this point. They don't have enough troops to scare me. And most of the troops are like in the water. Ow. Ooh, my aim is off today. a little better. Sorry. Okay, so we crossed the river. We're overrunning them. And without any doubt, we'll have them cleaned up in no time. I definitely don't want to stand in front of a... Whoops. Sorry, horse. 
a giant barrage of these uh, crossbowmen and arrows, though. Nope, can't hit me. Oops, sorry, Charger. Ouch. That one hurt. Alright, I don't think they have many left. This is the last of the few... Recklessly just loosing arrows nearly onto my own troops. And where has that gotten me? None of my companions died, so I consider that a huge success. Who are we waiting on? Is there an enemy in here? Not anymore. Galden died on the battlefield. He was one of ours, so of the 39 people out of the thousand plus that I came in with, uh, one of my own died. You know, the death ratio here is a little, it's getting ridiculous. All right, uh, Ospier, you know what? I've tried to recruit you so many times, you're just, you're my prisoner. Borvald, what about you? You are friends with me? Oh, because you're the, okay, you're the company of the Golden Bear. Um, sure, yeah, you're free to go. What about you, Otto? You're also company bear. Cool. Servic, I wanted to recruit you. So I'm going to let you go too. Now, Ospear had his chances. I'm basically giving up on him now. I am exactly at my prisoner capacity, so I cannot take any more... No more. No more fit. Um, in fact, I was one over. I'm gonna take a few Volgears over Billman. And Swordsmen, let's trade up to... No, Swordsmen are fine. Vlagin Sergeants. Yeah, here we are. Three, four, one, two, three. So I have a ton of, like, high-level people that I'm probably never gonna be able to Recruit two Banner Knights. All right, well, that's it. We have so many sharpshooters, actually. Let me switch the sharpshooters out because I don't need more sharpshooters. So, uh, I'm just going to pluck from the prisoners here that look high level or whatever. Now, I guess that's it. So, what am I at? Three up, one, two, three. It's a lot of prisoners, but I'm not next to a town, so it's not like I can immediately ransom them or anything. They're all gonna escape before I get to town. And the Golden here, unfortunately, was the last man standing of his own clan, so I just inherited their land. This is getting really tiresome of having people die. Like, what the heck? So how many how many how many fiefs do I have now? I have four: Varchag, Rote, Qyaz. Uh, all right. All right, Varchag. Um, Okay, I'm not going to try to resolve that. I am going to head to Sargat to drop some of the prisoners off. Vashorki just got taken prisoner. So go to the keep. Go to the dungeon. Donate prisoners. I'm donating prisoners because I don't want... Uh, they escape at higher rates when they're, uh, you know, in army, so... 
I'm trying to prevent that. Let's go and sell some stuff. I'm not sure that Sargot has enough money to buy everything that I just looted off of the defeated. Uh, barely. They will have barely enough to cover it. Diversifying my food amounts. And... Owner of Varchek. Why do I have to resolve that? Alright, let's gift. If I go to the clans here, I'm going to gift to Abeletos, who is uh, Prinikos, or whatever it's called. So, gift Rote to Prinikos. Alright. And let's gift to Vishorki and Radagast. Uh, so, Vezoving. Vezhoving. Yeah, Vezoving. And that would be Kuyaz, gift to Vez. Done. And then the last thing I own is Varcheg, but apparently it was captured so recently that it's uh it's up for grabs. So I'm just gonna go with whoever the uh, you know the current leader for the uh, election or whatever. Hey, another Batanian army. And Varcheg actually is about to get taken. I bet. Hi, Batanian army. I'm getting a little war weary, I'm just saying. Having to fight all you guys. It might actually be in my best interest when I catch this army to try to form peace, depending on the price. Uh, they're running. Okay, yep. Uh, it's Our rum should make peace. Sure. I don't want to be in a three front, front war. Uh, we are, as far as I could tell, we are up. Uh, territory because we took Varcheg from them and they did not take uh, Maranath, Lenok Hen, Abcomer, Sianyan, they Uthlaim, they didn't take anything as far as far as I could tell because I do believe they had Epicotria already. They might have taken Maz Mazhadan or whatever it's called, but um, very, very, very small price to pay for keeping Varcheg. All right, Varcheg, I guess... I don't want it. Uh, I guess if we go with me, I can gift it to someone who has less territory. That's actually a pretty good way to be judicial about who gets what. So then I go to the clan... Oh, I just saw Belger's army. Then I go to the clan tab and like... Um, Julios, guess what? Congratulations. There you go. All right, so Belgir has a giant army up here. Well, I wouldn't say giant, but he does have an army. There is not a lot. I guess they're all in other armies. So there's not a lot of people I can add to my own army. Go away, lake rats. I don't really want to have to deal with... um. Man, my cohesion is dropping quick. I don't want, really want to have to deal with uh, having to recapture territory, so that's why I'm stomping out their armies now. Hello, Baron Belgir. So I'm just curious about the price of peace. It's very, very, very inexpensive. Okay. I was not planning on declaring peace. I just wanted to know if I did want it, what would it cost? And basically nothing. Soldier! I don't know about the terrain here. It doesn't seem like it's going to be all that easy to take advantage of it. It's pretty rough. There is a bit of a cliff here, though. Or hilltop, more like. Oh, yeah. Put Fire the wrong thing there. Shields up! Oh my god, I can't move. Forward! Cavalry! 
Okay, let's get out of their way. Where are they? Okay, they're over there. We're still shooting at them for some reason. Okay, trying to get, trying to get all my guys positioned correctly. Now that all that's left following me is my uh, companions, and I'm going to keep them safe because of, you know, the death part of I'm constantly losing companions. Which would be fine. It's just that I don't feel like the enemies are losing at the same ratio. I feel like I am dying a lot more often than they are. And that's a bit of an annoying problem. I go into these inconsequential battles and I lose vassals and the enemy does not feels cheap to me we might have to uh, take another hill it's possible that I'll be able to bait them just me alone I do see their cavalry moving so Oh, I hit one of them. Ow! And they hit back. All's fair, I guess. No, they're turning around. Alright, maybe we take this next bluff. Moving up. Here's their charge again. Ah, look at that. Beautiful thing. Sitting on the uh, mountaintop or the hilltop. All my troops. Yeah, you guys are... Oh, bye-bye, Varmint. Oh, this is Belgir himself. Bye-bye, Belgir. Right, let's get out of the way of all this infantry. They don't have a lot of horses, this army. Normally, Valandia has, like, tons of cavalry. But not this time. Does make it easier on me. I have less work to keep cavalry off of my troops. Just the occasional uh, line runner like this guy. And he's dead. Well, that was... A horse with no... No rider. See, these guys are all but routed. Ooh. Hot shots. Yeah, you're not going to get away from me. My horse is faster. Oh, jeez. All right, I might have sucked with my arrow last round, but this round it's nothing but flesh, I guess. I don't know what the archery equivalent of nothing but net is. Flesh doesn't sound right, but... Nope. There we go. Okay, they do have some cavalry over here. You're not cavalry. Ah. 
All right, pretty low on arrows now. I am having my cavalry do a counter charge because they're charging up kind of from the sides here. No, don't throw stuff at me. Get out of here with that. Weak sauce. All right, so here's their cav rush. It, uh, it's gone. It's crushed. Two arrows left. Not wasted. Get over here, highwayman. Oh, wow. Good duck. I can appreciate... Luck and skill. I was juked. Seems like a sizable number of their army is like uh, just mercenaries and bandits. And yet, I bet I'm gonna suffer some loss. Because that's just the way this goes. Sorry about all the random yelling. Just trying to get everyone back into position. Oh, lucky. Eh, didn't buy you much time, though. I guess all their, um, all their cavalry, like, spawned in late. Which is an interesting luck that they got. Because they started with, like, five, and now they have 20 on the field, or more. And they're definitely annoying my, uh, infantry. Let's get out of this swarm. All right, telling them to recharge now that we, uh, we re re we've regrouped. The struggle is to... between the trees and my own troops, I find it very challenging to get Good swings and blows on uh, on these enemies. Definitely tricky. Whoa. We are definitely cleaning up. I do see some uh, companions and vassals getting knocked out in this fight, though. It is not without its injuries and wounds. There we go, finally. Come on, horse. I don't want you. Just the lake rat. All right, they're, they're full fleeing, so this is definitely the end of the fight. Catch you before you exit. All right, so who died? We definitely lost some, no doubt. But uh, luckily, no companions. I did have a bunch of my own companions knocked out, but um, not not killed. So that matters a lot. And Yarly of Lake Rats, prisoner. Oshir. Was I going to recruit Oshir at some point? I believe I was. Yeah. 
So you're free to go. Ah, uh, my headset came unplugged. Uh, they have a bunch of oh, there it goes. They have a bunch of troops that I can add uh, that I will give over to my companions. <laughs> God, look at our health. Our guys are just like pummeled. Not a whole lot of living left. Um, in terms of prisoners, I have capacity for very, very, very few. So let's cherry pick. Some Vanguard and a Banner Knight. That's about all I have capacity for. I am troop over limit, but I'm not worried. I'll just give them out to Damien and Etrustin. Uh, ooh, Valandian Coursers. Nothing that looked too expensive in that, uh, in that loot. Okay, now... Now what do I do? I... where is, uh... Here's Damien. Yeah, he could take... Ooh, not all my prisoners. Uh, he has a prison. oh, I mixed them up now. Good job, me. Very swell well going. Um, okay, one more sharpshooter. So, yeah, he has, um, capacity for troops that I don't want. I don't want a caravan guard, even though they're technically Valandian. They're not of normal quality or whatever. Alright, that looks good. Except for the fact that I've given away enough of my own troops that, um, I don't have troop capacity. What happened here? Can we reset? Let's just reset. <laughs> oh, you know what it is? Uh, because I have enough wounded um, people. Alright, I'm going to keep these troops that I have for now. Because I have too many wounded uh, in my own army to look after the prisoners. Richard the Stag, level up and riding. Giving you Sagittarius so that you can uh, be more accurate. And here is Jacqueline. One of the towns that I very much would want for myself. And we will set up trebuchets. I don't want to break the walls because I have to own the breakage, you know what I mean? Like, anything I break, uh, I need to repair if I do plan on owning the town. So, we'll try to take it the nice, smooth, easy way of breaking their siege equipment and then t storming it. Why is Mimir patrolling here? That's just very strange. We also have um, some of my vassals in here, like Milos. Okay, no, he just has a ton of wounded... Because I was going to say, he had like 18 people conscious or whatever. But I think that's just because a lot of wounds. Okay, as we continue this uh, siege, I'll be able to gift out my extra troops. Should have put that in reserves. Wow, you have a lot of Imperials, Trustin. Okay, that's all I can do right now. Oh, you know what? He, I just noticed, is over capacity. So that's not going to help me. Uh, I can also take Rummond. I'm going to do that uh, from him. I, of course, could put prisoners in my companion armies, I guess. But I haven't really done that because I'd worry about them slowing down unnecessarily.
Okay, a little bit more of my own troops to recover from their wounds, and I'll be able to give out all of my non Volandians. A Volandian taken prisoner by mountain bandits. That's embarrassing. And then the uh, Skolder Brovada, or whatever they're called, Bratva, has just got contracted by the Empire, so they're no longer working for Volandia, I believe they were working for. Or Botania, I'm not sure which, but either way, they're no longer. Um, contracted against me, which is good, because I don't want to fight more enemies than I have to. Okay, that is the last of my non-Volandians, I believe. Yep, I think that's true. Now, I do plan on uh, Yanshui heading up his own party at some point. I just want to give Yanshui all of the possible armor uh, that he would need to survive such a party leadership position. So I'm not going to have Yanshui lead a party until I feel like Yanshui is wearing good enough gear, which has is not yet, is not now. Also, it's very difficult to put um, put him in when I don't have spare troops. Okay, one ballistic. Come on, there we go. Uh, we don't have one of the siege towers built, so I'll just keep. Rolling time, I guess. Make sure that we don't lose cohesion. Okay, there we are. Leading assault. Finally. Finally. So many battles at the start of this uh, episode, and I was only now able to besiege a town. That took a while. I don't want uh, troops manning the trebuchets. We don't need to be using them in the battle. Uh, if I was smart... Oh, come on, let me pan. If I was smart, I would have switched my weapon out to my uh, my blade rather than my glaive, but... Oh, well. Glaive it is. I'll just have to rely more on the bow. They have a lot of people up top. They have a lot of uh, archers that are going to be easy to hit, I think. Oh, and I have to remember, these are... Ow, 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 yes, yes. They're Volandian crossbowmen, so they hurt a bit more than your usual. It's one of the advantages that the Volandians have, is those crossbows punch uh, considerably harder than bows do. As you can see, I've been shot three times, and I'm, like, half health. And they have a lot of crossbowmen on their walls, too. And I have a uh, arrow stuck in my arm that makes it very hard to aim in first person. Just... Middle-aged, or medieval-aged problems. But my, uh, my crossbow are doing, I would say, a pretty good job of um, sh taking them out. They are not lining the walls like they were before. Why are you just standing there? You know, I'm mine. Yep, just keep lining up. Ow, ow. Health low. Totally worth it. You missed me. I'm in a bit of a duel there. One of them gentleman duel where neither of us move. Just line up like idiots. All right, well, that's the battering ram. I've been working mostly, I would say, on the left side wall, so I'm going to commit to the left side wall push. We have connected Siege Tower on the left. 
For better or for worse, I climb. So far, M is wounded, but none of my immediate companions are dead. That's uh, that's good. Trustin's alive, Vashorki's alive, Tynops is alive. Ow. Oh, good, 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 good. All right, time to speed up time, at least. I bled for the siege, even if I didn't make it onto the wall. All right, well, the left tower attack seems to be very successful. We are in it to win it here at the front gate. And that's it. The rest of them fled, I guess. And Radagast dies on the battlefield. That is... This game is starting to uh, starting to anger me in a way that I don't like to feel, where the enemies don't seem to suffer deaths, but I do. We play by different rules, and it's 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 uh, it's getting tiresome. Definitely tiresome. So Jacqueline fell. Holson Folk. Uh, Tynops, you own everything already. Stop being a greedy little bastard. Uh, I'll give it to how many. Luchin, you own three. Tynops, you own five, four. Incurion, you own two. I'll go to Incurion. Even though Luchin's like my brother-in-law or whatever. All right. Uh, Tavern District. Prisoners to be ransomed. All the Non-Valandians and low-level Valandians are going to get ransomed. I'm also going to ransom off Yarly of the Lake Rats because he's a mercenary. He isn't really my enemy. Um, I still have too many prisoners, like considerably too many. I'm going to ransom off like most of my uh, crossbowmen, my sharpshooters, because I just don't have space for them. And Yanshui. We don't have the right... I do not see the right armor. I do see knight kite shields. So we're going to slowly shift everyone over to the kite shields. So we'll buy one of those. For M here. Yeah, limb hunters, they're not actually... Uh, they're not war horses, so I don't need to keep them. I keep war horses that are lame because you can upgrade uh, upgrade guys with lame war horses, but you can't really do that with uh, non. Well, we could go to Red Mail over Tabard. Uh, that's going to be at least better armor than what he had on. Is reinforced mail mittens the... No, it's heavy mail mittens. Because I don't want to buy too much interim armor only to have it phased out. Let's see about uh, arrows, though. Were there... The right arrows? Stack pockets. Yep, there they are. Okay, well, that's good. And Jacqueline was one of those towns I was hoping to own. Uh, we have a little bit of a... Varton has a little bit of our army pushing up on us here. But I am just about out of time. If I can sneak up on Varton... Nope. Varton is bush... Just booking it. I don't blame him. Bash got athletics. Let's give you extra stamina, because you don't need charm. And then... Radagast died, so... Radagast left behind Vashorki, and Vashorki is now the sole member of the Vezohing clan. Which is not great, because if he dies, then I inherit more stuff that I don't want. Well, guys, that is all the time I have. Uh, let me know about the... If you have been playing in the current branch, the 1.5.7, and you found that your vassals die at much higher rates than enemy vassals, uh, let me know about that. I do feel like 
my guys are dying at ridiculous rates, and um, I don't think that wars are going to be winnable if I'm constantly losing vassals. And I got to say that the effort to go to to recruit vassals, not so much fun, not so much fun. Uh, especially the cost of it. So I'm spending, you know, like, oh, here's 150,000 gold for you to join my side, for you to die in the first battle. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, I digress. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next episode. Farewell, everybody.